Hello guys, welcome to today's captain's blog. We just got the new pneumatic stapler. This thing, I have hopes for. It's the Aero PT50 and it's stupid cheap. They're like 30 bucks a piece. But it's made by Aero, so they're the company that makes the staples. I'm gonna give it a shot. I have hopes for this. But to make it work, I gotta put air fittings. I'm a new air hose, and I figured I'd take a minute and talk to you guys about something like how to do this and some really cool features behind it. You can just thread your air fitting on your air hose, and it will work fine, but it'll probably leak. And the reason why it'll probably, and, and not like leak like to be unfunctional, but it'll hiss and your compressor will kick on a lot and it'll suck. The way to make it not leak is this. This is called Teflon tape, and you'll find it in the plumbing section of any big box store or wherever they sell the air fittings and stuff like that. You'll find this, you'll find this in both sections. And this is really cool stuff because what it does is this acts as a gasket within the threads of the fittings. So when you, these threads here are CNC machine, they're super cool, but these threads, even though it's the same thread as these threads, probably don't perfectly match enough to not has some little air leak. So the way to not do that is to put Teflon tape on it. This is really easy to do and you can do it at home. So here's how you do Teflon tape. The first thing to take into account of is when this threads on it's going to be turning that direction, right? So when we put our Teflon tape on we want our Teflon tape to wrap this direction so that when it gets pulled on by the thing it doesn't unravel. Don't bring tape all the way over the end because you don't want to obstruct your end. You pull it really tight and it doesn't matter if the end folds over a little bit, it doesn't care. And you just put a couple wraps of this on and then pull it right off and now you have, see how the threads fill up with the tape? And then you I just, do that. you might be too close to focus, but. No, there we go. There you go. See how the threads all fit? It looks like it's painted on. And it should. You don't want to put like 20 wraps of this on here. Just a couple wraps is enough. And then you hold this with a wrench. Grab this with another wrench. And just spin that right on there. You don't have to over tighten it. Just good and, good and snug and she's good. So that's one end of our hose done. And I can set that over there. So grab the other end of the hose, and we're going to do the same thing all over again with the female connection. So, let's try that again. Now these are the absolute garbage, lowest quality air fittings I'm doing here. The hose seems to be okay. I've never tried this particular hose before, but it's just a, a big box store brand air hose. But these are garbage but they're what I could get that would absolutely fit, so they're what I'm using today. They will be replaced. They'll be replaced when they fail, so a couple weeks. Uh, <laughs> they were six dollars. They were six bucks. You can get, if you want really good ones of these, there's a company called Prevost that makes them, and they're awesome. Really, really awesome. And they have all kinds of really cool features to them, like uh, pressure release, when you disconnect a tool so that the line isn't charged. Oh. No, I tightened it too much. There, okay. Are we, are we there? No, not if I can do that with my fingers, we're not there. Okay. Hi, Moose! We're about to do a pressure test. Let's see if it works. I'll dial my pressure down. Just came to see how it was going. We're, we're about to test our cool new air hose and Teflon taped fittings. Okay, we're in there. Let's bring our pressure up. Okay, we're going to set to 80 because the maximum pressure on our stapler is 100, I think. Zoom! Okay, so now we can staple with our 
cool new staple gun. Yeah, I like it. How's the sound? So here's a neat thing. If you look at the trigger on the staple gun, see how the little bar rocks? Now the actual trigger is this bar here. But we're rocking on this fulcrum and that, that doesn't do anything. Now when this is depressed, that pushes the little bar back. So now it's hard, there's, there's resistance. So mm -hmm. if, you, if you hold this back, never with your finger over the end, but if you hold this back, you can shoot a staple. Like that. You done? Yeah, I'm good. Weapon safe. Alright, so, and you'll notice my air hose doesn't leak. And I'm putting the tape back in the tape drawer. Yay! Just the third drawer down. Alright, so, we get to build a thing. But that's a different video. You guys have fun. I'll see you next time.